Hey guys, welcome to Daymaker. I hope you are doing well. If your day's not going so well, maybe a little something that I say might can help. I sure hope so. I love helping and empowering you and making your days better. So today we're going to talk about three lies about feelings. You know, years ago, I, I worked around two separate leaders. One of them uh, gave a lot of compliments out, but they didn't feel authentic. The other leader was very good at complimenting others and they felt so genuine, so real. And I wasn't great at that. So I thought, you know what? I don't want to be like the first leader. I want to be like the second leader. So in me learning how to compliment others, I felt disingenuous at times, giving people a compliment, uh, learning how to do that well and learning how to compliment others rather than criticize them or just not have nothing to say. So I began to practice. So here's my point. Uncomfortable is not disingenuine. Uncomfortable is not disingenuine. You know, God may be saying something to someone that you don't even know, or maybe you don't even particularly like them, but God's saying, I want you to tell that person that you love them. And you're like, well, I don't really feel love for them. But if God's telling you to tell them they love them, you should obey God. And if God's telling you that, your love is going to grow by what you say, right? So there are times when uncomfortable is not disingenuine. So knowing what is right and feeling what is right are two separate things. Knowing what is right and feeling what is right is two separate things. You know what? God's word tells us to give our, a gift to our enemies. Does that feel right? No. No. But knowing it is right and knowing it's from God makes it right is right. So there are times you might feel disingenuous, disingenuous, but the truth is you might just be uncomfortable. So when you're learning something new, a new trait, just know that uncomfortable is not disingenuous. Okay, so not, so here's lie number one. So we're going to talk about three lies about feelings. Lie number one, you can't make yourself feel something. That's a lie. There are two kinds of people in the world, those who feel their way into behaviors and those who behave their way into feelings. Those who behave their way into feelings. So you know what? If I don't feel like going jogging, the best thing for me to do is put on my shoes and take off. And you know what happens? Five minutes into my jog or run or my bike ride, my cycling in the garage, all of a sudden my body starts feeling it. Why? because I chose the right thing to do. And now all of a sudden, my emotions and my feelings are in line with my actions. Emotions always follow actions, and actions always produce emotions. For instance, put a big smile on your face, and all of a sudden your brain just starts feeling happy. Why? One of the things I teach people who does do public speaking, I often struggle with, with during the week, um, events, luncheons, small, smaller groups. So what do I do? I go to this, I go to the mirror, I look in the mirror and I smile. And the more I smile, my fear literally leaves and my anxiety diminishes. So I teach people, go to the mirror and smile away your fears, diminish your anxiety because it works. So try it. Listen to me. Always remember, your emotions will always behavior, always follow a behavior. Lie number two, you need to feel it before you do it. The notion that you feel it before you do it is a lie. People say, I feel like a hypocrite when emotion doesn't align up with my actions. Did you feel like going to school when you was a kid? No, but when you got there, you saw your friends, you had a, you ended up having a good day. Did you feel like going to church? Did you ever feel like, do you feel like praising God every time you raise your hands? No. But when you raised your hands, when you started to praise, your spirit became alive. Your emotions got into place. Your feelings lined up and all of a sudden it was a great experience. You experienced something great from something you didn't feel like was going to be great at all. So again, emotions follow behaviors. How about eating lunch? Oh, I'm not hungry. Just pick yourself up something, come on home. You stop by Chick-fil-A, you grab some chicken, you come home and your spouse says, Oh, I'm star now I'm starving. What happened? Guess what happened? All of a sudden, you smelled something. Your emotions changed. Your feelings changed because of a behavior, because of something that changed in the room. Remember, you can change 
the way you feel by the choices and the actions and the behaviors that you make. Here's a quote. When you do the right thing, I think this is by Alex Mathers. When you do the right thing, when you do the right thing, when you feel like doing the wrong thing, it's not hypocrisy, it's called responsibility. When you do the right thing, when you feel like doing the wrong thing, it's called responsibility, not hypocrisy. I love that. Lie number three, and we're going to finish. If you don't feel it, it's disingenuous. Wrong. What's disingenuous is manipulation. What's disingenuous is disingenuous is not uncomfortability. When you feel like lying, but you tell the truth, that's not disingenuous. That's called character. That's called doing the right thing when you feel like doing the other thing. So flip that around and you're going to realize you can learn how to be genuine. When you don't feel the emotion of gratitude to be grateful or to compliment others is not hypocrisy. When you're learning a trait such as kindness and caring, it can seem like hypocrisy, but the truth is it's growing. It's learning. It's becoming. You know what? Now it is automatic for me to say, hey, Haley, good morning. I like your boots. Hey, so-and-so, good morning. Nice jacket. Hey, you look nice today. Hey, so-and-so, hope you are well You know what, guys? It just becomes a part of being genuine and real. It becomes a a growing experience. It's growing into a person that you want to become. So guess what? When you're training your brain to do the right thing, and you're training your heart to do the right thing, and you're training your spirit from your spirit, out of outflows love, joy, peace, kindness, meekness, temperance, and faith, that may feel uncomfortable to your flesh. But the truth is, It's not disingenuous at all. It's learning to be genuine in body, soul, and spirit. Hey, I am excited to be able to speak into your life and heart. I hope that helps. I hope it matters. I want to empower you. I want to bless you. I want to make a difference in your life. Listen, tomorrow's Wednesday. It's podcast day. I'm going to, I'm going to, Uh, Put the podcast up tonight. I don't even know what I'm going to talk about yet, but it's going to be good. So tomorrow is Wednesday. You're going to have a daymaker in the morning, which is today. You're going to have this daymaker, and then you're also going to have the podcast. So get the podcast. If you're watching this on Wednesday, you're going. This is podcast day every week. Enjoy it. Share it. Write a review. I would appreciate it if you would help us to get the podcast out there Daymaker has a podcast. It has a journal coming out soon. We're doing daily daily videos. It has a YouTube channel with nearing 70 videos on YouTube at Thomas McDaniels Ministries. Okay. Thank you. Hey, I want to shout out to my our sponsor, uh, Pex uh, in Longview, Petroleum Experts, uh, Petroleum ex, to Petroleum Energy Experts which is Chase and Susanna Claxton, who are amazing partners. And I thank God for them and for Longview Lights, who has been a part of my blog sponsorship for many years now. Also, the REAP Network, which is a network that I have that reaches apostles and prophets and pastors and teachers and evangelists. That's what REAP stands for, Reaching Evangelists, Apostles, Pastors, Prophets, and Teachers. So anyway, hey, we love you. We appreciate you. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Daymaker. And don't forget, you're blessed and highly favored of the Lord.